Tech and Jeff Byers with Will Banks Reptiles. We're here today to talk about a really amazing breakthrough we've made with Superfire. So now we believe that we'll be able to control the outcome of our clutches with higher yellow animals versus perfect white animals. Some people prefer one over the other and it'd be nice to have the ability to sort of control our production a bit of high white animals, perfect white animals, and yellow animals. Just beautiful. Now, again, not being a morph, sorry sweetheart, you need a kiss on the face? Not being a genetics expert myself, not even close again, I would look at this, not knowing anything, visually, and I just see a white snake. Now what makes this different than just another white snake? A bell, for instance, although with blue eyes, uh, this clutch is sired by this pewter fire Inchi. He's proved himself out many times over, but just recently uh, we bred him to a fire female and uh, used him for our super fire production, which is a lot of uh, animals that we produce here are super fires. And uh, noticed with this clutch that uh, Three of these animals are obviously really high yellow, some of the highest yellow you ever see on Superfires. And these other two are perfect white. And it occurred to me that since their dad is an allelic representation of cinnamon and inchy, along with fire and pastel, his babies can only be cinnamon or inchy, they can't be both, so they have to be inchies and cinnamons. And Enchi forces pattern in a lot of other situations and is a major pattern changing gene. And so I've come to the conclusion that these are the Enchi superfires and that the perfect white ones almost have to be cinnamon superfires. And cinnamon in Pied, for example, is a major pattern reducer. So it sort of stands to reason that these genes are behaving the same way in Superfire as they often do, or they do, in Pied. Debbie, what do you think? I think they're absolutely beautiful. I just saw these for the first time five minutes ago. The yellow is absolutely incredible. It is so vibrant. I don't know if the camera even picks it up. This is like a lemon, an actual true lemon color on these three beautiful animals. Just stunning. And the white is as white as they come. And it's really rare um, it's not un like, it's, it's not it's not unheard of, but it's very rare to get a lot of yellow up on the head of the superfire. The head is generally clear, and we've seen we've seen a bunch of these here for a lot of years, and it, it's very uncommon to to have as much yellow past like the back of the skull onto the the top area of the head there, as it is on all three of these. Areas. Now I'm no genetics expert, I have to be honest with that. Morphs are not, I'm more of a visual person because I am a pet hobbyist. I see an awful lot of yellow in this animal. Um, that obviously is playing a part or not? Is it just strictly genetics? Because I see yellow in this. Well yeah, I mean he's he is a firefly inchy cinnamon. So he's got a lot of going on. There's a little battle with inchy and cinnamon occurring just in him and when he was a baby he just had this little pink hue to him, and I just thought he was cool, so I held him back. I, and that was even before anyone knew or accepted that Inchi was allelic with uh, cinnamon or black pastel. So we've since learned that and had some of these animals doing work around here before that was even a thing. And we'd never really noticed that they were only throwing Inchis and in, uh, cinnamons or Inchis and in black pastels. His offspring must be inchy and cinnamon. He, ha he doesn't have a normal gene sitting on that allele. He only has a cinnamon and an inchy gene, so he can only pass those. He can't make a normal animal. Just if you bred him to a plain, straight normal, he's at least making cinnamons and inchies. It could be all cinnamons, it could be all inchies, but you won't make both and you won't make a normal. Now, was this a project that you was a goal of yours or did it literally just happen and you just went, wow, look at what we just created it, here? It, it just happened and, you know, it 
it started with just bringing like some neat looking super fires to Mike to show him, you know, what had come out, what I was about to set up. And, uh, you know, like I said, we've seen a lot of these and this is the most yellow we've had on super fires ever. And it was interesting that we had a five, five super fire outcome in the clutch. There was a few non super fire animals, but to have three that are so drastically marked and then two perfects in the same clutch. Generally, and not every time, but generally, if you have baby super fires, several in a clutch, you know, they're all going to have a few little spots. Or if there's three or four, they might all be perfect. So you, you don't get a big gradient. They kind of tend to look the same. And we haven't noticed until now, you know, a gene a gene reacting with it and controlling possibly how it, you know, how Superfire manifests in the perfect form or not. On other animals that have a high amount of orange, we often see little black or gray flecks come in on the orange. And here uh, is I purple. See. Yes, and I absolutely see. Often when you see a uh, when you have a big multi-gene reaction going on, but there's fire and Inchi, a lot of that dark, what would typically be black, at least while they're a hatchling, can be a deep dark purple around the edges of what would be alien heads or, you know, the, the edges of another pattern if we were talking about an animal with a discernible pattern. But here they are small lavender, no bigger than one scale. And would those fade out? Probably. Probably. The the big ones, uh, when we've raised them up in the past, you know, sometimes they'll they'll have a uh, maybe like a grayish scale, but it the the color, the tone of it doesn't change all that much as they get bigger. They'll they'll fade a little, but you know, it doesn't go away. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Genetics with Jeff. Jeffnetics. Hashtag Jeffnetics. Please like, share, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss an episode. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment down below. Did I cover that? Yeah, we covered it. Commenting down below. Yeah, the question asks us the question. Yeah. Jeff can answer it because he Maybe. is amazing. Hashtag. Amazing. Amazing. Hashtag amazing. <laughs> Out, guys. <laughs> Checking out genetics with Jeff. <laughs> Hashtag Jeffnetics. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Genetics with Jeff. Jeffnetics. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget to like, comment in the... Subscribe and click the bell. I get paid for this. I get paid for this. I still screw up. Okay.